What's up, guys? Guess who's back? That's right, I'm on your screen yet again for the third time for Ever Crisis. What the hell is going on, right? Well, 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 I do want to talk about something because it seemed to have brought a little bit of controversy uh, in my original summon video. So, I want to clear a few things up. There is something brand new I want to talk about as well, though, real quick. So, let's do that one before we go into the actual topic of what I want to clear up. First off, additions to ticket draws and the exchange. More things are being added, ladies and gents. And this is a very, very good thing. So, uh, ticket draws. Arctic Star is being added now to the things, uh, to all the draws. I'm actually very shocked, to be honest with you, that this is being added so damn early. And then Ultimatic is also being added as well, too. The Canyon Caller is being added and Thunderbird is being added. Uh, these will be done on... On, let's see February the 25th so uh, four days from now we are going to have some of the best weapons for each of these units out I mean Lucia let's take that one away uh, Canyon Caller I means pretty good for, for Red 13 because Red 13 really has shit all he gets literally dog shit he's a dog I mean he's not a dog let's be real he's kind of like a lion mixed with a raccoon mixed with I don't know fire tail mixed with a chimera mixed with a I don't know chipmunk uh, I don't even know what he is anymore to be honest with you uh, Nanaki it's just poor as a poor soul. Uh, automatic Glenn's best weapon, obviously being added, and then Arctic Star, which is uh, Yuffie's best buffing weapon uh, for her. So all of these things are very good. So if you're saving your tickets, this is a good time to be summoning if you want to main any of these units. Now, the topic at hand. Now, there seems to be some confusion this morning about my summon video. So a lot of people watch the video, love the summon portion, but kind of mistake what I said. So if you watch about two minutes in, I mentioned that there is currently going to be no banner for part two of the Rebirth crossover. And then, if you stop there, that sounds pretty self-explanatory, right? But the problem is, you got to go at least 13 seconds after that. And you'll notice I mentioned that I think the next banner will come out right before the drop of Rebirth or around the same time as Rebirth. So there will be a secondary banner, in my opinion... For Rebirth, it just won't be related to the demo. This is the prologue, guys, is strictly for... A Fall of Hero prologue is strictly for the demo, right? And again, without going into too much detail about the demo itself, because we were going to avoid spoilers, um, we know that in the new era of Junon, you get to explore the open world with the cast, right? So that means anybody can get themselves a banner that's coming up. Now again, I they they clearly have released the Grasslands portion of the of the demo but not added anything. So this is why when I said there's going to be nothing for the crossover what I was referring to and this is why I elaborated further in that video that we probably will get a secondary banner a little closer to the release. Now, I could be completely wrong, right? I mean, tomorrow we may get a whole new banner. I'll be like, holy shit, look at that. So, uh, I just want to make sure that people don't take words out of my mouth and kind of turn them around. Uh, because I did specifically say in my video that I think there will be something dropping before around the same time as Rebirth. Uh, but not related to this specific demo. Uh, and I think that's important to note because that will essentially tell you guys what it is. Now, I'm going to go and take a look real quick see, to see if there's anything going on. Uh, so here, oh my god, look at this. As I speak, uh, they release something. They release something, guys. So, so let's talk about it. All right, you guys ready? I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds here to gather yourselves, and then we're going to do a little bit of data mining. Look, I mean, perfect timing, guys. Perfect freaking timing. Okay, so let's talk about what exactly is going to be going on. So I'm going to turn this over to you guys over here and let's talk about it. So first off, co-op battle. We know about this. Another co-op challenge. Shiva, Shiva, Bahamut have arrived. So this is going to be a duel that's coming out. Uh, you're going to get a premium 10 draw for three, 300, uh, 300 red star, uh, red, red diamonds. Uh, yeah, I guess red crystals, what they're called. Uh, so that's a really good one for, for folks who are spending. Uh, looks like Rufus. Rufus. Yeah, Rufus is back. He is going to be one of the uh, main bosses for this event. The Scorpion Sentinel, which is also going to be uh, one of the bosses. We've fought him plenty of times. There's going to be a 7.77 million DL pack. Uh, that's going to be dropping as well, too, for per people to purchase. Um, here's what the celebration is about. Great success rate of weapon enhancement, 20% increases to 50% instead. 30% increases to 50%. So this is great for weapon enhancement. Um, here is another thing. Get uh, get uh, clear missions to get a total of draw tickets times 20. And then here's the banner, guys. 
Remember this outfit they've shown a thousand times over? Yeah, well, Zack is finally getting his outfit. So here's what the outfit does. Boost HP and buff, uh, debuff extension. And uh, here is what the Shinra full dress uniform looks like. He looks like a badass there. And then these are the two weapons that are dropping. So Zack actually gets a crazy ass weapon finally uh inflicts up to 14,000 sorry 14,000 imagine 1400 non-elemental physical damage upon a single enemy and drastically increases own physical attack that is wild so you zach mains are gonna get ready to kick some ass especially with that outfit now you're gonna be able to have that buff for quite some time and then you have the centipede which is the most scary insect on the planet the only one that freaks me out uh, increases all physical defense and restores up to 59 percent of healing potency. that's actually really strong holy shit matt is becoming insanely good at uh, healing he's already, he's already amazing so um yeah yeah so as i was saying nothing related to the actual crossover so there you guys go we now have official words so zach mains all of you guys who have been waiting for zach to become a og uh killer uh crazy ass dps with a lot of flair where are you getting the zidane sword and the amaranth gloves put together for one weapon with a badass outfit to match so i think you guys should be pretty damn excited for zach's now again this doesn't look like it has anything to do with Rebirth, and I think that's okay, because I think we have another banner most likely coming for the launch of actual Rebirth. We'll probably see that uh, drop, and that might be even bigger. Now, also remember, guys, another big thing to remember, the game came out in September. If you think, I think it's September, October, November, December, January, February, Mar so March. So, six months, March, right? Six months, here we go. Um, the seven there, and I thought it was six. So, six months, uh, I think March is the six-month anniversary. Usually, games celebrate half anniversaries pretty heavily. I'm hoping Square Enix does the same, or Applebot does the same in this case, and we get some pretty crazy things happening for the half Annie. I can't believe it's almost been six months. I actually feel like I just started playing this game yesterday for some reason. I don't know why. I always feel fresh when something brand new happens in this game. But it has been six months, guys, so I can expect something pretty crazy to happen uh, for the six-month anniversary. So again, as mentioned, Data Miners, shout out to you guys for finding this. So thank you guys for sharing this information with us. Um, a lot of things happening, but nothing to do with... Um, Nothing to do with Rebirth, because the demo again is over, right? The demo is meant to be small, so the event will be small. I think the bigger event for Rebirth will happen when the actual game drops, so we'll see some more banners, be probably Rebirth-related, very, very soon. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Again, I just wanted to get this out there to you guys. All right, guys, take care. See you in the next one.